Hey, it's James here again from Content Snare and JimmyRose.me, and I'm doing a little uh, series on sort of business automation and using Zapier and Active Campaign and some other cool tools to help automate your business. Um, this one's slightly different because we're just talking about a concept. I'll show you a few examples from some of the tools I use. A concept called webhooks, and uh, these are a very important thing to wrap your mind around uh, because they're used pretty much everywhere and it really helps um, open up a few different possibilities if you know what they are because by default Zapier will be able to, Zapier will be able to connect to certain applications but there's a lot that it won't connect to that you can kind of uh, do with webhooks instead so it's very very important to know um, it might sound complex at first but really it's not uh, it's there's not that much to it, it it's basically as simple as sending data from one application to another place and in this case it's a url so i've got my awesome shitty diagram here where let's just say we had a, a store or something and you've added something to your cart uh, and then you might go to the checkout and uh, then end up on a thank you page but what you might do at the same time is as someone progresses from the cart to the checkout, you could send some data over to just another URL. In this case, I've got some website webhook catcher. It's obviously not a real address. I'll show you some examples in a minute. Um, but you could even send a webhook when someone added an item to their cart. It really depends on the tool that you're using, uh, what, uh, what it's got enabled for webhooks. So um, I'll show you a quick example here with active campaign. So I've got a simple automation, uh, it's just adding some tags. The, the main thing you need to know here is that uh, one of the things you can do in Zapier, you can, uh, in active campaign, you can just say, I want to post contact info to a URL. So when you add it, that's, that's all the setting is. It's just saying we're sending a bunch of data to this URL. Um, now I'll show you how to do that in Zapier very shortly. But another example is with Thrivecart. So some apps um, will have these in the settings. There'll be like a webhook area where you can put your own custom URL in. Uh, in this case, uh, it's here in Thrivecart, which is an awesome um, shopping cart tool that I use. Um, and if you were to add another webhook, you're basically just giving it a name and some data. Uh, sorry, a URL. And in this case, Thrivecart's actually sending basically everything to uh, everything that happens. So, you know, when someone makes a purchase or they um, put their email and whatever, whatever events there are, like subscription, when subscriptions rebuild, it's sending everything to this single uh, URL. But then uh, what we'll do later in Zapier is filter that out. Uh, so we only have the um, data that we want. But I'll just give you a quick example. Now, this um, don't let this scare you. It's going to look a little bit complex. I'm just going to show you. So this is an example uh, webhook data uh, from Thrivecart. It looks complex. looks like code and stuff. Don't worry about it. Um, basically, all that's really happening here is it's saying it's giving you an event name. Uh, in this case, it might be order success. Uh, th these are just variables that are going to show up inside Zapier once we uh, send the data over there. So it's going to have a currency, it's going to have a customer ID. These are all just bits of data that you can pull out. This is kind of developer-y looking here, um, but don't worry about it because Zapier makes it really easy to pull the data that you want out. Right, so over in Zapier, what we set up is what's called a catch hook. And... Um, Basically, when you, oh, I can't remember where it is, it's in the options. Nope, it's not. Uh, yeah, so when you're creating it, it gives you this URL. So what it's basically done is created, if I go back to my crappy drawing, it's created this. It's given you a special URL that you can send data to from anywhere. It can be any data, uh, any webhook from any application. And so you'll just post paste this into whatever app it is that you're using. Um, in the as you go through and create a new zap, it'll ask you to test, and you'll have to. This see, I can't really show you how to do that because it's different in every application. In Active Campaign, I'd simply just uh, make this happen. I'd change the valid payment method to true, and it would fire off all of this. Uh, and then Zapier could catch it and give me an example. So if I go to view your hook, this is everything it's caught. Now sometimes, see, this looks pretty complex. Some of this, um, it's kind of hard 
you know, in this case, it's a contact trial end date for our software. Um, but really, most of the time, you just kind of have to look through this and see if the data you need is there. Like if you need an email, it's going to be pretty obvious. You're going to find, uh, find a record in there. Um, and then basically Zapier will make this available uh, to any other action you want to create. So um, for example, um, I've got a digest here. All I'd have to do now, if I wanted to change the title to say something that came from that webhook, I could just go here and then here's all that data that's come out of the webhook. So um, if I wanted that email address I talked about, I'd just go that. That allows you to feed any data from a webhook any webhook from any app into something else from Zapier. So that's basically all a webhook is. It's just a simple uh, sending data from one place to a, a URL. And in this case, we're gonna catch that with Zapier and do something else with it. Uh, hopefully that helps and we'll get into some uh, more stuff soon.